Plastic bags have been around for 50 years and have become a threat to our environment. Jeff McKinnon is the head of the biology department at ECU. He says the future of our ecosystems is at stake. The problems in the oceans are that uh, animals eat them. So sea turtles eat them and they uh, block up their digestive tracts. That also happens with seabirds. Lorena Gandhi is a biology student at ECU who says people need to be more conscious of what they do with bags after they um, use them. It has, it's had a negative effect on our environment and um, just the animal, animals are easily able to eat plastic bags without even realizing it. And so I feel like if we start to discard them, it'll make our environment a better place as a whole. Big businesses such as Harris Teeter, Target, Walmart, and Food Lion continue to use plastic bags, but offer paper or reusable bags as well. However, plastic bags can serve more than one purpose. Rachel Burnett says she likes plastic bags for their various uses. We use them for trash bags and for shoes if they're dirty and storage wise. Although plastic bags prove to be helpful around the house, experts say they still need to be disposed of properly. McKinnon says recycling is key. So the main thing is to use less in the way of plastics and then when we use them to be careful about what we do with them afterwards. So recycle them as much as possible. Plastic bags have been banned in the Outer Banks of North Carolina and the whole state of California. Lorena Gandhi says lawmakers should continue banning them in more places. Um, yeah, I actually do think they should be banned altogether. I think that um, as our society is evolving, I think we should be more self -con more self conscious. And I mean, the use of paper bags or reusable bags is a lot safer for um, where we live. McKinnon says there is hope then, for the future. You know, Thirty years ago, hardly anybody recycled. No one knew anything about it. Now almost everyone recycles. So probably we'll see those used less and less. Ashley Burnett, Pirate News Network.